there is definitely something to be said about the amount of effort and knowledge this guy packs into his videos and I personally wanted to see for myself what the blue speaker of his was capable of and so I made it myself but enough of his video let's start my own Here I got a confession to make. I am impatient and I will pay for that later. I turned up the speed too high and that's what I get for it. But I've turned it down and it works. So here you see the two finished halves of the print and what you see me doing here is actually using a product that's similar to blue tag, smushing it into a little sausage and then using it to sear the two halves together, although that didn't work quite right. It was hard to get an actual seal all around the circumference and well, they came apart so everything could be ruined really easily. So I used a wire put it in the groove, push the two halves together and then put 120 watts through the wire in between the halves as to melt the plastic together and that actually worked really well. I'm really happy with that, although <laughs> right around the corner the next problem appeared. Not speaking about the huffing noise, that's just a leak on the speaker, but I'm talking about that. So what happened due to the print problems in the beginning, the sides were loose enough to shake if that's what you're hearing, but I had an idea how to fix that. I simply went on and bought myself resin, which was funnily enough more expensive than the plastic which I needed to print the box itself. But anyway, I filled up the whole box to the hole which you could see there. And you know what they say about warning labels, the stuff is rock solid and the box is really heavy now and sounds really great. Yeah. 